Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm yours, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we are looking at a very important beer, an or originator of a style that we currently know from all over the place. I'm talking about the one, the only Hogarden, or Hogarden, depending on who you talk to. Comes in at 4.7% 4 alcohol by volume. It's a Belgian style Vip beer, and this beer, this style was essentially dead up until Pierre Solis decided to start brewing it again. Um, and out of that came Hogarden. It's brewed with orange peel and coriander, just classic, you know, now they're classic uh, spices in this style of beer, you know, almost every brewery has some kind of whipped beer. It's a wheat beer, a lightly spiced Belgian style wheat beer, one of the most popular beer styles in the world right now, and this and Pierre Solis, we have them to thank for it. So, haven't had this one in a long time, looking forward to it, it's such an important beer. Let me get into a glass so you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict on the Hoe Garden. All right, guys, so the appearance of the Hogarden. It is one of the most beautiful beers in the world. Again, an originator of the style. Uh, three to four finger of a really, really feathery, fluffy, cloudy um, white head that dissipates pretty quickly. It is hazy as hell as to the style. You want to swirl the beer around, get some of that yeast in there. Um, it's uh, like a really, really pale yellow, like a golden yellow. Just a beautiful amount of carbonation coming off the sides of the glass. Nice head lacing. Just an absolutely brilliantly looking clean looking beer all right guys the aroma on the hoe garden yeah it's a beautiful black pepper spiciness from the yeast strain you're getting orange peel you get the coriander from the, you get a sweetness in the orange peel definitely getting a breadiness from the wheat in there a nice almost like a lively kind of fruit flavor that mixes with the spiciness from the yeast and the wheat Oh, it's just a deliciously spicy, sweet smelling beer. Awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the taste on the Hogarden. Garden. Cheers. Everything you get in today's whip beer basically is what you're getting here. Right at the front of the tongue, there's a nice kind of pop of citrus, a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of spiciness. Again, that black pepper clove type of character. Middle of the mouth, you get a little bit of like a bubblegum character. Um, definitely you get the orange peel, you get the coriander. It's a spicy kind of sweet taste. Definitely getting the wheat, um, a little bit of breadiness, a little bit of graininess in there. After t uh, the dry, it's a nice dry finish on this one. Aftertaste, more sweetness, more spiciness. Um, again, a, a black pepper type of quality to it. A nice little orange peel kind of zest in the end of it. Um, no alcohol whatsoever, 4.7%. You could drink a ton of this stuff. There's not a whole lot of mouthfeel to it maybe even to the point of being a little bit watery um, but it makes up in the flavor department it's just a really really easy to drink flavorful spicy beer all right guys so the final verdict on the Ho Garden, brewed by imbev in belgium so you know another anheuser-busch product um, guys i have got to give this one a b plus this isn't the best vit beer you know in the world but as far as originating a style as far as the importance as far as just being drinkable and easy to get this one is such a great beer if you haven't had a whip beer before this is a perfect perfect foundation to start super easy to drink great for weather like this absolutely pick it up pick yourself up as much as like six pack or whatever you can get it's really cheap really easy to get so with that said folks remember life is too short need my beer drink amazing beers cheers